I'm going to show you how to do the battery mod on the G Pro Wireless. Uh, you save a little over three grams. It doesn't sound like much, but once you start getting into advanced levels of teabagging like me, just any little weight decrease just to help you get your speed up, you know, a little bit makes a big difference. But I'm going to show you how to do it uh, without solder in a way that will actually last. A little secret method that I've uh, developed over the years. Now, as far as the battery life goes with the smaller battery, um, it will show you the percentage still, and that's accurate. The percentage of the battery life left. But the hours remaining is inaccurate. And I've found to keep my lighting on at about 50% brightness. And the battery seems to last about 10 or 12 hours for me. It'd probably last a lot longer if you had the lighting off. But, um, you know, so even with the lighting on, you can still use the thing all day and charge it overnight. And it, it charges up really quickly. I mean, it'll charge from, like really low it's like 20 percent up to 100 percent like a half hour or something like that and i leave a link in the description where you can get this battery and then also i have a full video on how to do every little weight mod that you could do on the g pro wireless here you can see the weight of the old one 5.36 2.2 2 for the new ones save a bit over three grams so first thing you want to do is take that little doohickey off right there the old battery see how much smaller the new one is you got to cut the wires and then put the old wires on the new ones. You want to cut the new ones, the little battery, as close to the end as possible. You want to cut the old ones as close to the battery as possible. Reason being is because the wires are really thin. You might fuck them up a bunch like me. And then get rid of that white wire. I don't know what it does, but you don't need it. It's really easy to fuck up splicing the, uh, the rubber off of the old wires because they're so thin. So the way I did it was just kind of roll a razor blade all the way around. You got to be real careful not to cut into the metal wires underneath, especially with the new, with the, with the old battery because the wires are so thin. With the little new one, it's easy. The wires are a lot thicker, but I messed up the old one a bunch. As you can see, they're a lot shorter now. It took me like three tries. So. You just want to twist the little wires together. Obviously, you just get the rubber off of all four ends. You match the colors together. found the easiest way is to twist them together like this. It was kind of hard to twist them together how I normally do just because they're so thin. And then what I did was just fold them over and just kind of wrap them around. <clears throat> and twist them all the way around each other. And then you could just use solder here. I mean, that'd be the proper way to do it, the way you're supposed to do it. But I'm going to show you how to cheat and get away without using solder. So you just take a piece of electrical tape like you normally do, wrap it all the way around. And then you just take a zip tie and you're just gonna tighten it like real tight, as tight as your, your fingers will let you basically, right around where the wires go together and that'll keep them from coming apart. And you just do that with both ends and that'll last forever. I've done that on many different things. I've done it on full car stereos, it works great. Put the battery back on, you're going to want a little double-sided piece of tape. Just stick it there where the battery goes, because the old battery had adhesive already on it, but you can't reuse it. Just stick the battery down there in the center. Put the little doohickey back on. Put the screw back on. And then obviously you just make sure the wire's long enough, plug it back together, boom, you're done. 19.